but it's very unique, this formula. Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation is currently trending on TikTok, Instagram, pretty much every single social media platform. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation from Laura Mercier. It's a newer foundation from her line, launched last year in 2023 at the end of February. What makes the Real Flawless Foundation different from other Laura Mercier products is the blurring effect from this formula. It's supposed to be fade, sweat, and waterproof. The formula, the way it goes on your skin is super weightless. It looks like your skin, it has a natural finish, medium buildable coverage, and so forth. Let's put it on. So you can wear this foundation without a primer, but to get the best longevity, the best wear time, she does recommend to use her Pure Canvas primers. They are water-based, so they're silicone free. And I'm going to use the hydrating version today. I personally like the hydrating without moisturizer underneath because of my combination skin. So I'm just gonna put it between my fingers and apply it with my fingertips. And she has a whole line of Pure Canvas primers. These are really good. Start with one to two pumps on the back of your hand and apply it to your face using a brush. On the left side, I'm going to use like a buffing foundation brush instead of a flat foundation brush for my own curiosity. Honestly, with application from the different brushes, I think it just depends on what you prefer. With a flat foundation brush, it kind of has a little more natural skin-like finish. It's not as, it doesn't look like you have a lot of foundation on your skin. With a buffing brush, you have a little bit more coverage and application's a little bit faster, but it just depends how big your foundation brush is, like a flat foundation brush. On the skin, the finish, it's natural with a little bit of that glow, almost like the NARS Light Reflecting. The NARS Light Reflect Foundation also is blurring, but reflected when the light hits your skin. It's a beautiful foundation. With the Laura Mercier, the difference is in the formula itself. It stretches a little bit further than the NARS Light Reflecting, and it's a little bit lighter in texture in comparison to the NARS Light Reflecting. But it's very unique, this formula. When it dries down and it blends, it almost blends into this velvety satin finish. It's incredible. I powdered my T-zone area, which is the forehead, a little bit on the nose, and my chin to tone down that hydrating shine just a tad. I powdered it using the Laura Mercier, of course, the iconic translucent loose setting powder. The finish is really stunning. In person, your skin looks blurred. It's very smooth, it's even, but it has that nice pop of glow like where the light hits on your face. It's really something. I will say if you have very dry skin and you don't prep your skin beforehand, even though the foundation, it's very stretchy, it's fluid, because it does have those blurring properties, it might exaggerate some dry spots or dry patches on your skin. So in my opinion, definitely prep your skin beforehand. If you have combo skin, oily skin, the next part of the review for the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation is the wear test on my combination skin. I already know how this foundation wears on my skin, but I wanna show you guys and take you along to see what it looks like and how it wears throughout the day. Let's go. Two hours in, this is what the skin looks like with the Laura Mercier Weightless, the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Honestly, looks like I have a filter on my skin. It is so pretty. I like that the cheeks, the chin, the nose, everything looks blurred. But remember how I said, if you have really dry skin or dry patches, it might kind of stick to those areas. I noticed I have a dry spot right here on my forehead. It's like a pimple that's you know healing and there's a dry area right around it, and you can see the foundation kind of enhancing that area. I don't know if you can see that, but overall, so beautiful. I'm not looking oily on my T-zone where I powdered. I'm looking glowy where I need to look glowy and blurred in those areas at the same time, glowy and blurred. I'll see you guys probably in like six hours or so. Six hour mark for the Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation. I think overall we're looking good. In the T-zone right here on the nose, on the chin, I'm looking a little more glowy, but on the cheeks, the jaw, it's still looking pretty blurred on my skin. There's not a lot of 
have cracking happening. So this foundation does wear relatively well on my combination skin. I did not use powder around my nose. So I want to show you guys that it does get pretty glowy throughout the day if I have like a hydrating base underneath this foundation. The foundation, it's not slipping and sliding. The color is not fading and I'm not looking patchy as the day goes on. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit for the rest of the review for the Laura Mercier, the real flawless, weightless, perfecting foundation. You guys saw I powdered once after the initial application around the six hour mark. And this is what it looks like six hours later. So 12 hours total, very glowy and I feel oily. Like I touch it and I can, I can now move the foundation. Like everything, the oils have broken this foundation in the T-zone. I can move it right here. I can move it right here. I mean, we're pretty oily. Two things with this foundation, A, if you're very dry and you have very dry or just dry patches on your skin, this foundation can and probably will most likely cling to those dry patches because I'm looking at my skin and anywhere that I have like a dry patch or my skin is tight and dry, the foundation is clinging to that. What do they call it? The bamboo blurring powders within the foundation. They're beautiful for the parts of your skin that are smooth, that are even, that are not dry, they look stunning. For example, like my cheeks, my my jaw, those areas of my face, they're not problem problematic for me. So they look really beautiful, those blurring powders. And then the other portion of the formula where it's helping you keep that moisture and keep you hydrated throughout the day, for oilier skin types, it's going to break apart that foundation, even with like setting your face or using a primer. If you have very dry skin, it might be prob problematic for you and then if you have very oily skin it's probably going to break apart your foundation like your oily skin will but if you have like normal skin type if you have like the perfect skin type you will like this foundation i want to say the best thing about this foundation the laura mercier the real flawless foundation is the application and how blendable it is it's so incredible to work with it goes so far it's so stretchy it's so fluid in all the right ways just when it blends it looks like your skin but better. It's just, my problem is longevity. It just does not wanna wear long on my skin type. Overall, like I think the cheeks still look flawless. The jaw really looks good. Honestly, even the nose looks good. It's not, there's not much happening right here, but around the nose, the forehead, the chin, that's where my big problem areas are with a lot of foundations. And I find that with these types of foundations where they're like blurring, but also hydrating at the same time, like balancing foundations, they don't work well for my combination skin like throughout the day. So I need like one or the other to work or find that great balance for my skin. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna have a lot more information on our website, MalibuBeautyReview.com, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.